Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna discuss how I use the Boss DD5. Guys, you know the deal before we get started please do all of the things that help this channel grow like this video comment and subscribe below hit the bell notification button so you get alerts every single time i upload a video be sure to check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below there's also a link down there that allows you to donate directly to this channel all right guys without further ado let's get started the boss dd5 for whatever reason has been one of my favorite delays if not the number one a very close number two uh, I don't know what it is about it, but it just captures a voicing that I really, really love. The truth is that I don't particularly like digital delays, especially for what I do, that ambience. I like a little bit of warmth. I'm, I like what I get from delays, analog delays, but more importantly, tape style delays. So one of my favorite delays of all time is the Strymon El Capistan. I think it captures an amazing tape echo sound, but I have to tell you, there's something about the this digital delay that is, I don't know, there's something special about it. To my ear, I feel like there's something different uh, versus other digital delays that they've released since the Boss DD5. I could be completely wrong. It could all be just in my, my head and I'm just being neurotic, but I think that the Boss DD5 is special. It's different from all of the other uh, digital delay pedals that they've released throughout the years and certainly different from any digital delay pedal that I've ever tried outside of the boss's boss delay pedals. With this particular series, as I've mentioned in the past, I don't break down every single setting and I don't showcase every single setting that this pedal has to offer, but I will show you how I've used this pedal in the past and hopefully get you to achieve some of the tones that you heard at the beginning of this video. So as you can see in your screen, my boss DD5 is a little bit different than yours maybe and the only difference between my Boss DD5 and any other DD5 that exists in the market right now is that I had a tap tempo installed into the pedal itself. So in this mod, they took the casing, they drilled a hole through it and installed the tap tempo uh, switch there and then linked it to the tap tempo input of the pedal itself, but they didn't completely bypass the input either, either. They sort of added it so I could still send tap tempo information via tap uh, to this pedal through that particular input, but I also have the convenience of having a tap tempo on that pedal. So it made it really, really usable for me personally. Um, and, and that's probably the reason why I've held on to it so long because I felt like it was a more versatile DD5 than any other one that's out there. But I also happen to have another Boss DD5 that's a totally clean and we'll get to the why I have two later on. So in previous pedal boards that I've had in the past, I would use this as an always on delay linked with another delay of some sort, typically the Strymon El Capistan. And I would have the Strymon El Capistan uh, add a chord note delay, but then I would have the DD5 on a dotted eighth delay, and that's where it really shines for me. Let's just go straight to the dotted eighth delay, which is mode number nine. I've tapped tempo in. I'm not even sure what tempo I'm in right now. Uh, let's put this pedal on. As you can see, the feedback is almost straight down the middle, and the level is just a little bit less than the middle. First, I'm going to show you my clean signal. <laughs> Just a little bit of grit on there. Now let's add the DD5. There's something about this particular delay. I'm not even sure if it's a true digital delay because I think that something does happen. Something does occur when I use this delay. It's not like a, a complete replica of my sound you know, delaying and decaying, there's something that's going on there that I think only the Boss DD5 does. Um, and maybe someone who with a little more skill could school me on that and why it's so different in the comment section below. But it's just the Boss DD5 in particular has this mojo, this vibe that I really, really love, that I really, really dig. And I've been, it's part of the reason why I've never really vibed with the other ones, its predecessors, but 
and just this one in particular and why I've always kept it for so many years. On the secondary DD5 that I have on my pedal board, I actually have it on a quarter note delay, which is mode number eight. So let's hear what that sounds like. It's the same thing, same tempo, but uh, a quarter note delay versus a dotted eighth. know me why would I have two delay pedals here and not stack them together so this is a very interesting sound that I'm about to introduce you to on paper having two digital delays wouldn't work for me so I would probably say if you were if you had me set up a pedal board in my head I would never say give me two digital delays I would st stray away from that immediately because I want to have a more vibey sound I'd say give me a tape echo an analog delay but two digital delays I'm not sure it's going to give me what I need as far as the ambience that I'm looking for but two DD5s, that's a different story. I have one set at a chord note delay and the other one set at a dotted eighth. They're both set almost exactly the same in terms of feedback and level. So there's no changes to that at all. I'm just gonna stack them together. lush sound. I don't think that uh, there's a lot of digital delays out in the market that can give you that. Uh, you can emulate it through EQs and all that stuff, but this is natural. There's no way you can EQ this pedal. That delay is going to come right out of the box. There's no altering that delay other than maybe putting, putting some kind of post EQ in, you know, in your pedal board. Uh, but now let's add some reverb to that. I'm going to add the Glitz reverb from the HX Stomp. Really, not to feature the reverb, but just to show you how much more ambient having two Boss DD5s could actually become by simply strategically setting them up and then placing them with other pedals that could enhance ambience. <laughs> So there you guys have it. That's how I personally use the Boss DD5s. This is a special pedal for me. This is a pedal that I've tried getting rid of multiple times throughout my career. And in fact, just ended up buying more of them, believe it or not, which is why I have two. In fact, I think I have another one sitting on my shelf there, my pedal shelf. I even have like a Boss DD2 or three in there somewhere as well. Um, I've always liked the Boss Delay products. I've been a big fan of them. In fact, one of my first videos that I ever uploaded to YouTube was featuring the Boss DD500. And um, if you search back far enough, in fact, I'll just save you some time. I'll link it right here. All that to say that I just have always enjoyed what Boss has contributed to the pedal world. I don't know if there'd ever be a, a Line 6 Strymon, all of these other amazing companies that have come out, even tied. Uh, I don't know if they, we'd have that without the evolution that is and that was the Boss products and uh, specifically pedals like this one, like the Boss DD5. It taught me what I loved about delays. Even though I didn't find my love and my passion in digital delays, it just felt like th this one was different and it set me on, my, on a path to finding other delays that I ultimately fell in love with like tape echo delays. Well guys, let me know in the comment section if you have experienced the Boss DD5 or if maybe I've convinced you to give it a shot. Certainly you can get one for a very decent price in the used market now and I think it's worth uh, investing in and at least trying out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do all of the things that help this channel grow. Like this video, comment and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you can get notifications every single time I upload a video. Check out some of the affiliate links in the description box below and be sure to donate to this channel if you want to. There's a link down there that allows you to donate directly to the channel. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ooh.